Welcome to another Simply Answers Tips and Tricks video. In this video we're going to do just a quick overview of how to set up Time Machine on your Mac. So the first thing you're going to want to do is make sure you either have a new time capsule, a network attached storage system, or an external hard drive plugged into your Mac. Once you have that set up it's very simple from here. So all you do is you're going to come up here to this little circle arrow with the, with the time clock in it. You'll click on that. As you see here, I already have time capsule set up, but it should, uh, once you click on this, say either set up time machine, or you can come down here and say open time machine preferences. And it will go ahead and open up uh, the time machine preference window. What you'll want to do is make sure that you flip the switch to on. Once you do that, you a window will open just like this where you select your disk and this is where your uh, time machine uh, or your external hard drives are going to show up you'll select which one you want to use and you want to click use disk you see I already have one selected so it's saying remove disk but you'll see it says use disk so you'll click that once you're done with that it will actually start counting down and set up the drive and then start backing up and that's really all there is to it. Time Machine is very, very simple. Um, if you want to set up through a uh, time capsule, you just click on that and click set up. And that will take you through the time capsule setup. So if you bought one of those from one of our Simply Mac stores, that's a great way to do it. And that's an easy way to do it. So that's how you set up Time Machine. This is where it will give you all your information of your latest backups, your next backup, how much space you've used of your hard drive. Um, and it also gives you a breakdown of how Time Machine works. You can also click on options and say what files, hard drives, or items you might want excluded from your backup. So if you just click the plus button, you can go all through all your files and documents and see what you want to back up and what you don't want to back up um, and exclude that from any time machine uh, backups that are being done. So um, that's a very nice option there. You can also set up time machine to back up to multiple disks just again once you want to use a different one to say select disk and all these other ones will be available and you can say use and that will allow you to use multiple hard drives and become actually rather handy um, so that's how you set up time machine let's see if we can give you a demo of what time machine looks like let's come down here actually no sorry let's come up here and say uh, enter time machine see here's all my time machine this is what time machine looks like it gives you kind of this really cool space age type of look um, all your backups will be here on the right side and it will just uh, show you them chronologically see here's a backup that's happened at about six o'clock tonight if I click on all my files see all my backups that have been done over a long period of time see back to November, we can go all the way back to May 2012. It looks like the la the very first backup it's kept on my time machine is May 8th, 2012. So that's a very nice feature. And if you want to go back to then, you just click on that. It takes you back to May 8th, 2012. And it will show you what files you have had on your computer back then. Just all through here. Once you have that done, and it, once you find your file you want to restore, you just click, click restore, and that will bring the file back to you to the current day. So the nice thing is if you've ever accidentally deleted something, this will help you go back and find it and restore any number of files you'd like, whether it's one, all the way up to the entire hard drive. So I'll go ahead and get out a time machine here. Go ahead and close everything out. So this is something that's very important to set up. It's very easy. As you see, you just come up here, click Open Time Machine Preferences, flip the switch to on, select your disk, click Use Disk, and then from there, it's all taken care of. If you're on a desktop, it'll back up every single hour. If you're on a laptop, it'll back up when either either every hour when you're plugged in or it'll uh, back itself up every time you plug in the hard drive. So let's say you haven't backed up your Mac in a week. Once you plug the hard drive into your Mac or once it recognizes your wireless hard drive, 
you'll take a second, but then it'll start backing itself up and notice that that drive is available for backup. So uh, go ahead and turn it on. If you have any questions, hit us up, customer service at simplymac.com. You can get us on Twitter at simplymacstore, or you can get us on Facebook, facebook.com slash simplymac. Any questions, anything you want to see done, we'll take care of you. So go ahead and give this a shot. I highly recommend doing it. If you need any help, just let us know. Thanks for joining us. We hope to see you again.